Okay, it's just a quick video. Um, while I had my PCMF1 set up, I thought I might just try as an experiment recording its video output on a DVD recorder instead of a videotape recorder. So I ditched the VHS machine and set this DVD recorder up in its place. Um, I wasn't really expecting it to work very well because obviously the DVD recorder is going to compress the video in MPEG-2 anyway, so I'm just curious to see. But um, I never even got that far because as soon as I turned the PCMF1 on, with the signal just simply looped straight through the DVD recorder in E2E mode, not recording on a disc or anything, this happened. So the PCMF1 really doesn't like having its signal looped through the DVD recorder. Now, I'm no expert on this, but I suspect that's probably because the F1 is using lines of the video signal that aren't normally um, visible in, a, in a, a normal picture that you'd watch. So the DVD recorder is just throwing those lines away because it doesn't need to encode them. It would just waste bits encoding them as MPEG-2. So it chucks them away, but of course the PCMF1 needs those lines in order to correctly decode the audio signal. And if I just play my 1kHz sine wave disc through the PCMF1 when it's doing that, we just get a horrible garbled mess. So let's just try, while I've got it set up, I'll switch the switch on the back of the PCMF1 to 14-bit and see if that improves anything. You have to turn it off to do that because um, it only reads that switch when you power it up. So let's flip that switch. Right, so the PCMF1 is now in 14-bit mode. Let's see if that has any improvement. No, exactly the same effect. I don't want to leave it doing that for too long because it's clicking a relay inside there. It might uh, be wearing it out. But anyway, there we go. That was an interesting little experiment in its own right. Not the expected result, but uh, an interesting result nonetheless. Thank you for watching.